Hi everyone, it's Jerry Enchantress. I'm here with another flip through review and this time it's the Romantic Tarot, a tarot deck I've been wanting for an, a very long time as well. And by the way, this is Pixie Dust Tarot, but my name is Cherry. So, and you might recognize the channel it used to be called Cherry Enchantress. That's my name. And I do definitely have a romantic feel here as long along as along with fairies <laughs> and uh, fairy tale and romantic type things so the romantic tarot is perfect for this I also just recently saw a reading from star girl and she I chose I could recognize romantic tarot from the back with the roses and so I chose this as my deck and this card came out, the Empress, and it looks like a dream that I had. It looks like me in this dream that I, I, so in the dream, I saw myself like this, and then I'm also was in myself. So I was like looking at the steps as I was going down, and then some kind of like camera style, panoramic, it, it zoomed out, and then I was seeing myself. It was very interesting, and and her reading was a little bit about past lives. So I felt like this romantic tarot could really help help tap into the the past life thing. The other thing I wanted to show you is that it is a low scarabeo, and so it's very similar to the tarot um, of sexual magic and the Casanova tarot. The, the energy, the feeling behind those two decks are very similar, except this one is purely romantic and those have more of a uh, sexual orientation. Here's a couple of the more tame <laughs> cards from from the, the Tarot of Sexual Magic and also from the Casanova Tarot. So they can also be quite romantic. And so this very similar genre and similar energy and I feel like um, also good t tarot decks for doing past life readings. Um, I think that the graphics are all by Pietro Alijo and the the marketing is by M Mario Pignatelio. <laughs> I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right but uh, yeah so by the same general people for, for the Romantic and for the Tarot Casanova and then for the Tarot of Sexual Magic, yes, yeah, same, Pietro Aligo and Mario Pignatiello, yes, and then the, the Tarot of Sexual Magic is, the artwork is Mauro De Luca, the Tarot of uh, uh, Luca Raimondo, and for the romantic tarot, the artwork is Julia F. Messaglia. So lots of beautiful Italiano artwork, I tell you. This is my favorite, and I that's why I'm so attracted to Los Garbeo decks, because they have very good taste, and most of the time it is, you know, um, Italian-based art and language and energy. So let's get into it. So there's the lovely backing. It comes in this nice box, but it's just a regular tuck box. It has a nice booklet, but it's the typical Los Garbeo booklet with all these different languages, English, Italian, Spanish, French, and German, and basic meanings for each one. Um, I could go over each meaning though. And some of the, like some of them, the, the wording is real interesting, so I'm going to go ahead and do this for us. Okay, so first we have the Fool, which is the Dandy. Then we have the Magician, the Illusionist. Then we have the High Priestess, the Grand Lady. We have the Empress, the Lady of the Ring. The emperor is the gentleman. The hierophant is the prince of faith. The lovers is the embrace. Mm -hmm. 
and the chariot is the country woman. Justice is balance. The hermit is the loner. I love this one. The wheel, the departure. Strength, futile efforts. Okay. <laughs> the hanged men, the trials and tribulations of love. Death, undying love. Temperance, the chalice. The devil is the stripper. <laughs> I'm in love with the stripper. The tower is cult the collapse. Star, this is neat. The star is the shining star. The moon is the secret kiss. The sun is the hour of truth. Judgment is beyond the threshold. The world is union. All right, and that's the major arcana. Very nice. So, with the cups, the cups do the, the same thing. I mean, we can go through this. So cups, 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 cups. Let's do it. So. We'll do it quickly if I can. So the baptismal font is the Ace of Cups. Ace of Chalices. The Toast is the Two of Chalices. The House of Love is the Three of Chalices. The Betrothed is the Four of Chalices. Venetian Corals is the Five of Chalices. Wine and Beautiful Women, Six of Chalices. The Kissing Hand is the Seven of Chalices. The Waiting, the Eight of Cups. The Lovebirds, the Nine of Chalices. Serenity, Ten of Chalices. And for the Knave is the Slave of Love. The Knight, hold your cups high. The Queen, Lady of the Dance. And the King is the Moor of Venice. Next we have pentacles or the coin. So ace of coin is the copper coin. Innocent games is two of coins. The wanderer is three of coins. The shepherdess amongst the goats is four of pentacles. Five of pentacles is the harlot. Six of Pentacles, the Painter. Seven of Pentacles, the Secret Rendezvous. Eight of Pentacles, the Gallantry. Nine of Pentacles, Lights and Shadows. Ten of Pentacles, an amazing, or oh, an, an amorous trap. I guess this would be called like the thirst trap in these days. <laughs> then the Knave of Pentacles is Amorous Wafer. The Knight of Pentacles is an officer and a gentleman. The Queen of Pentacles is the big pot. The King of Pentacles is the solitary aristocrat. Are you ready? Let's see about wands. I think it's next. Yes. So the Ace of Wands is the walking stick. The Two of Wands is Love at the Opera, Garnier. The Three of Wands is 
the queen bee. The four of wands, that's the twin flame card. The four of wands is the can-can. That doesn't look like a four of one can-can. <laughs> okay. Love calls you to the... Oh, celebration. Okay. <laughs> Then there's a can can. I don't know. The five of wands is marriage of interest. Oh, I think they mix those together. <laughs> uh, the gift is the six of of wands. The seven of wands is meeting at the station. The eight of of wands is an amorous awakening. The Nine of Wands is a peek at a hidden kiss. See the key? <laughs> and the Ten of Wands is a Port Dauphine. The Knave of Wands is a man watching. The Knight is a gallant rider. The Queen of Wands is a propriety of the House of Pleasure. <laughs> And the King of Wands is the great actor. All right, and finally, we have the swords. So the Ace of Swords is the cut rose. The Two of Swords is the sheath. Three of Swords is the fixed duel. Four of Swords is the Venice Waltz. Five of Swords is Swan Lake. Six of Swords, Sonata for Four Hands. <laughs> and Seven of Swords is the Courtesan. Eight of Swords is In the Crypt of the Cappuccini. Nine of Swords is the, In the Hall of Mirrors. <laughs> okay, I said mirrors. Ten of Swords is Goodbye. Knave of Swords is the Slave of Love. The Knight is the, the Champion and his Reward. The Queen of Swords is On the Throne of Swords. And the King of Swords is a Man of Honor. And then you have a couple of these information cards to go with it and there you have it let's see now just to, let's get it a little bit of a shuffle it's probably very typical of yeah slightly bendy not crazy bendy <laughs> but easy enough All right. Oh, let's see what you got. Ooh, you've got this dance here, the Four of Swords. All right, let's see what the Four of Swords was again. It's the uh, the niece waltz, dying and being reborn many times, as many times as the circles of the waltz. A step back, two forward, and then backwards again, endlessly, <laughs> and then silence. Yeah, so it's like that meditation, Four of Swords. It could also be kind of this, you know, connection to a past life or time where you're dancing and maybe multiple dimensions are kind of coming through at the same time, a kind of a memory, but like slipping through layers of a memory of time. I know that sounds deep. <laughs> anyway. I hope you liked it, you guys. Beautiful duck. And there you have it. The Romantic Tarot. Faith Trust of Pixie Dust.